Hi, I'm Roy Scott. I'm a guidance assessor and tutor for YMCA Fit. I'm a keen runner I've completed in several big city marathons across the world. As a personal trainer, many of you want to incorporate some running and sports conditioning drills into your sessions, instead of just getting your client to hit the treadmill. Here are some drills that you might want to consider putting into your sessions. What we're going to do is we're going to do an extended lunge. So we're going to do this drill and we're going to progress it on a little bit. We're going to use the bar for a bit of support initially and then we're going to take the bar away and get the stabilizers involved. So the first drill is an extended lunge. We use the bar here and we're just going to take a big lunge forward, get a nice flat foot contact and then we're going to push back but push beyond the point of, of normal lunge and come right back to the back of the running stance, running cycle. So we're going to work between here and here. So it's a nice dynamic movement, specific to running, looking at the uh, support and the drive phase of the running motion. Okay, Dan, we're going to have a go at the uh, exercise I just demonstrated, the extended lunge. So uh, what I'd like you to do is take a, a nice firm grip on the, on the bar, support bar there. Uh, abs nice and tight in. Okay, looking forward, I'd like to get that extended forward lunge part of the movement. Foot, nice good contact, just dipping at the hips, pushing back, getting that nice contact, toes facing forward, that's looking good. So keep it nice and relaxed, try not to use the arm to push away from the knee. Coming down, try not to let the knee crash there, just one more of those. Okay, great. We well, look quite confident with that, Darren. Um, that looked quite straightforward for you. I'd like to move it on and progress it a little bit. Uh, the reason we're going to progress it is obviously we're taking away some of the stability of the bar. Um, so we're going to have that. We're going to have the same exercise without the stability of the bar. Because when you're running, you're going to be using a lot of stabilising muscles and you're going to have to stabilise the movement. It is very dynamic. So when we're going to move it on, we're going to have the same exercise, but we're going to shift the arms across as well. Okay. So with the front leg coming forward on the right side, you're going to shift the arms across to the left. So let's have a go at that. So same exercise, pushing all the way back. That's it, great. Turning it in. So turning in towards the knee, feet flat, facing forward. Great. That's looking good. Good rotation, try and integrate it so as you come forward, you twist as well. That's it, and bring it back to a static position. Okay, great. Okay, our next drill is um, working towards running cadence. We're going to be looking at efficiency. This is going to be a really good tool that you can use with your clients. Running cadence at 180 is the most efficient level. Metronome is a, is a, is a great way of uh, kind of monitoring this cadence. 180 is the optimal level. I'm just going to show you what that um, sounds like now. So this is 180. You can either keep your clients holding this or you can put it to one side. I'm going to put it to one side. So listening to that 180, what we're going to do first of all is get into a bit of a march just to get you used to that. So we're going to try and replicate that with the march and then we're going to progress it on a few levels and a great drill is to just get them to come forward uh, feet down nice and flat nice and relaxed so keeping that 180 keeping it relaxed there we can then move this on a little bit further and do a little bit of a more complex skill involve pushing the leg out getting the hamstrings a bit more involved so we can actually jump it up and push the leg out Working opposite arm to leg and transitioning with this as well. Hopefully I've given you a few ideas on some drills that you can incorporate into your personal training sessions. Anyone wishing to gain some new ideas and build on this would really benefit from completing the sports conditioning and running courses.